Okay, I don't know what your wheelbarrow situation is, but uh, they are incredibly expensive. And so when I wanted to go purchase one last year, it was kind of the times of the brokes. And I was like, uh, I can't spend a hundred and some odd to two hundred dollars on freaking wheelbarrows. Especially one that I was using for concrete and that may not be, you know, if I'm not vigilant then I'm basically just going to concrete, a, you know what I mean? So, looked around, Walmart had one of these left. It was display model. I got it for twelve dollars. Scores! So I can't complain on that note. But, that being said, uh, first thing you want to check on your wheelbarrows is that it's not too short for you. Because I would not be able to cart this around more than about 10 times without breaking my back because I, I can never stand up straight. If I want to stand up straight, I'm basically dumping it. So, I need much longer handles. And what we're doing here, as y'all may recall, I dug four holes about a year ago. Well, about two years ago to build a shooting platform for my pistols. Which, before I had the railroad ties there, my plans was to like shoot into the berm. Either way, that's where I should have built it, not where it is now. And also, I shoot rifles now, so I don't need anything here anyway. If anything, I just need, well, if I do put if I do put something up eventually it needs to just be different. I need to be I need to take the count into effect that I need to be able to shoot through it with rifles. Um, but yeah, so I got some big rocks in these holes just to take up space and I'm gonna fill them up with gravel because I've had just I've had cinder blocks over them for two years and now that I'm for sure not gonna use them, I'm gonna go ahead and fill them in. jacket nest in those center blocks. <laughs> I'm lucky I didn't get stung. Or under the ground beneath the center blocks. Oh my goodness. They are pissed. half the brain I would have done this first and used the dirt I'm about to dig up and left uh, left these rocks shallow so I can just put the top top little bit with dirt 
but I'm an idiot. So no, no. I think all the hunter gatherers are coming back home because I keep on getting under attack. So maybe I'll, maybe I'll give it 20 minutes before I do this other hole. I'll try to drink some water, see if these fuckers will dissipate a little bit. Okay, I got this. Uh, it's not strictly necessary, but I thought it'd be nice to be able to put labels on stuff. That's one of the reasons I can't find half the stuff when I have stuff is because I don't know where I put it. Um, it's in some drawer, some cabinet. So it'd be nice, even on my inside stuff, I could. I can put cabinet, you know, when I have stuff hidden behind, the same way I used to when I managed warehouses. Yeah, you just label everything, easy peasy. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And, uh, yeah. Oh no, that one's upside down, that's what it is. I put this cabinet upside down. <laughs> well, you probably see that uh, you died. Game over. Yeah, better died. But I finished without you. Flipped on by my whole fucking swing arm. Weird. Did not do that on my, uh, doesn't do that on my Honda. I don't know why. Wow, oh, that sure feels like it's not breaking loose. Well, it doesn't say anything about reverse thread. Maybe the weight has to be on the tire for me to loosen that bolt. Let me try that. Let's try it now. Oh, wrong, wrong wrench. I'm like, the fuck? Oh, I swear I'm turning the hole. The whole fucking damn. Do I have to hold the bolt on the other side? Feels like I'm. I mean, I see the bolt spinning. Y'all see that? No, 
22. I can't believe there's no videos of this up yet. Okay, so it should be should be down. Righty tighty lefty loosey. Unless it's reverse threaded. Ah, I think it's reverse threaded. Oh my god. What they use fucking Loctite blue on this shit? Well, I just bought a pneumatic air gun, so I don't even know why I'm fucking around with wrenches. I guess because I didn't buy a socket set to go with it yet. Because I didn't really want to spend 60 bucks yet. So this is, uh, this is, this is number, time number two. Yeah, okay, so time two and, and, and second strike out in trying to adjust my chain. My god, it's so easy on my other bike. It takes 10 minutes. Easy peasy, all the limmy squeezy. But no, no, Kawasaki, go fuck yourself. Go fuck myself, I guess, actually. Uh, fuck it. So uh, maybe the third time will be the charm. But I'm not buying, uh, I'm not buying a pneumatic socket set until I, uh, until we have more money to bank. I don't spend too much money this, this cycle. Okay, well. So what's that idea? Might as well go riding, huh? Universal is it just for just for what I use it for? Just give a light thread. That's my funny joke today. And I guess it's got stuff in it because it doesn't say I gotta fill it up. Yeah, I need some I need a ring shank on that Farker. That's got none. I'm off to the freaking hardware store. Son of a gun. Well 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 looky looky who found a cookie. I'm like, wait a minute, I got a bunch of freaking air piece parts that I bought in a pack one time. I do. Where are those at? I found them. Of course, they're all in something, so I have to do some disassembly. I don't even know. Check out that little air. It's almost like it's a constant on, and it's a dead man switch. Weird. And uh, I didn't use this one. And it looks like I don't even know where this one came from. I don't use this one either. I use this one. So I just just simple this one only because it looks like it's in a little bit better shape than that one. Oh, I love that I didn't have to go to the freaking store. My little experiment here. So apparently I'm not strong enough now to uh, to drive in stakes, auger stakes. So I'm like, is there a tool? 
And there is a tool, it looks like, but it's like 150 bucks. But there's all these little adapter bits. So I purchased this one adapter bit that's actually, I mean, it, it says in there it's for eye bolts, but it's really for like wing nuts. Um, or like those, even those electrician, you know, wing nut type, how you doing? So I bought this. It's got two different size slots. Let's see if I can't turn in this eye bolt. I think it's more likely that I'm going to snap one of these fuckers off with this thousand pound torque. But we'll see. Yeah. I gotta find an adapter real quick. <laughs> not only is this not gonna work, it's probably gonna snap everything I have. That's hilarious. And none of these are, you know, even, I'm sure, up for a thousand pounds tour. I got a better idea. It turns out I don't have a better idea. I bought this the other day for something. And, I mean, I kinda need it. I don't need it. It's extra. It's not extra. It was in, thought I needed it for something. I didn't. I'm like, I'm not gonna take it back and try to get 10 bucks. I didn't think I had the receipt. I was put in my collection, then I was like, well, I'll just I'll cut a slot in it. I just cut a slice, but I don't have like a, I don't have like a metal bandsaw or anything. I can slip it so I got a bandsaw with a metal blade. So I was gonna attempt to clamp it with a series of clamps so I could use my, uh, like my little Dremel metal cutter or maybe my sawzall, but the sawzall I'm sure would be too violent the reciprocating saw because you know, it's just you're gonna jerk it back and forth. Cause I don't have a bench vise. It's one thing I haven't gotten yet. I should. If I had a bench vise, I'd probably be okay. Bench vise, I could just on the end there, um, on the end on the other end, I could just vise that sucker in and probably cut right through it. But I got another piece coming in a few days that uh, should hook right into this. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Every project I should have just gone for a motorcycle ride today. Every project I'm trying to do is getting. Is getting nixed. I guess I'll just go ahead and cut this sheet metal and put it up. You know, I just gotta trim an eighth of an inch off or so. I'll do that real quick and I'll, I'll get her hung. Yeah, you could have cut the other way. A big piece, like a, when you're cutting a piece off of a big piece, like you know, a significant piece, it doesn't shred metal shards. You're doing the edge piece like this. Oh my lord! got some sort of Lego uh, morning star arm or something and I got a I got a Lego foot connection this is probably a robot this was probably a robot that my young son Frankie and this would have been a you know RCA connector for uh, for my oldest son's electronics projects Oh, all the artifacts, boys and girls, all the frickin' artifacties. Alright, let's see if we got any bounty. Oh, we got all kinds of bounty, but it all fell off. When I opened it up, I don't forget how the thing works. Because you lift up this handle to release, to pull the magnet from the bottom of the apparatus to the top, thereby 
allowing all the, all the trash to fall. Flip it upside down and gravity does that for me, right? Okay, get this tape off, sand off the epoxy up the bottom layer. It's literally been done for weeks, but we just haven't had the opportunity because of the rain. My wife's schedule, you know, I gotta have the two line up, and they haven't. <laughs> So I don't ever think I've shown y'all uh, my, well, not my, the royal my, <laughs> lasagna recipe. Boil water with salt. Eight ounces lasagna noodles, but I'm gonna use 16 because I'm doubling the recipe. It's actually uh, La Scala. I think I've mentioned it. I don't think I've cooked it. I think I've mentioned it and shown it. I don't know if I've, I've cooked it, but that's where it's from. And it's out of this Los Angeles Times California cookbook from quite a while back. I don't know, probably the 90s. But anyway, that's uh, that's the recipe. Get out of the way. That's the recipe. That's what you do with it. That's what I'm doing with it. I'm pounding the cube steak till tender, and then I'm gonna cut it in one and a half inch by half inch strips. I already pounded the other side, so that's uh, it's both sides pounded. I'll probably go ahead and pound it a third time on this on this other side, and then uh, and then we'll get to cutting. I assume three pounding would make it tender. It's been a whoa! It's been several years since I made this. Okay, noodles are full on boiling. Got about three minutes left, and. Uh, Oh, there she is. Got about two pounds of how you doing? Cut up into something approximating uh, one and a half by one inch strips. Or one and a half inch by half. Something approximating by what it said or something good enough. So how you doing?
I'm doubling my recipe because I'm doing a double batch. But yeah, I got my mushrooms and my onions, and my bell peppers, and my garlic, and all my spices, my three cheeses, mozzarella, parmesan, ricotta. Told you all about the meat. My noodles stand in cold water, so they're all good. And uh, we're about to cook up the meat and that oil and add our spices and follow the directions. It's gonna be good. Stir it, we cook it till tender, then we add in the spices, water, and tomato paste. And then we uh, bring to a simmering boil for 20 minutes. Layer of sauce, layer of noodles. At least one cup ricotta cheese. I'm gonna add a little bit more, and then half the remaining sauce. Okay, so everything's done. Got several layers of the how you doing. I mean, y'all read the directions, or maybe you didn't, but. Okay, so I should wait for the oven to preheat. No way that's gonna stay together. 